Hey, what's good with y'all, Collective? Uh, I'm back with another message on the channel. I figured I'll read another uh, energy. I don't know why I'm picking this up, but you remember how I channeled Gemini earlier whenever I was reading something to do with a love match? I'm getting that there's someone that may be married or may be engaged or they may not be married, but they could be in a relationship with someone. And this is going to be the biggest betrayal, like, because this individual's either someone's husband or wife literally is into someone that they was literally watching their husband or wife abuse throughout the situation. And they have been keeping that a secret. <laughs> While they've been trying to wreck your love life, you literally got someone's husband or wife that can literally... I don't know, bro. This is very strange. Something about a Gemini with the uh, the lovers. But something about like blonde hair. This person could have blonde hair. <laughs> why they talking all that? Why they talking all that nonsense? You literally have this individual that may be into you. That's what I'm getting. And they don't know that. Bro, <laughs> this is funny as hell. <laughs> What's going on with this situation? Why am I channeling heavy Gemini energy, Holy Spirit? Why am I channeling an energy to where they have possibly a Gemini, etc.? That could be into somebody that, that knows what their spouse or whoever this is has been doing. Scorpio energy with a death card reverse. They know somebody has been trying to end something. For a Scorpio or air sign here with the Ten of Swords. And they've been keeping us on a down low and secretive to themselves because they know what their spouse has been doing. I'm channeling that intuitively. Why am I channeling this Holy Spirit? Why am I channeling this? This is funny. <clears throat> we have the nine of swords reverse. We have the ace of... So they know what an earth sign has been doing. This could be their spouse. Something to do with a spouse here that may be the uh, earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Eight of Pentacles. They know what this individual has been doing, but they have been keeping this to themselves while they had their job. The chariot reverse. Cancer energy. They know something about a vehicle situation with the chariot reverse. We have the four cups. We have the hangman reverse. Pisces energy. We have the strength card, Leo energy. We also have the will of fortune. So if this is a Gemini here, look like to me, some this individual could be thinking a lot about a situation while they at their job. Empress reverse. She's not too happy about what she's hearing here. She's not too happy about what her what she's been told here about a situation, whoever this is. Knight of Pentacles, the verse, earth sign energy again. We also have the seven of wands. We have the justice card. In the upright position, we have the four of pentacles. And we also have the five of wands here. This Gemini could be a blind. She could be a mother figure. That's not too happy about what's going on. She can be arguing and fighting back and forth for this individual like her spouse here for, for continuously trying to do something here with a page of one on the verse that is lies. So this person, they can either work in the justice system or they can have someone that may work in the justice system is what I'm getting. With the justice card. This son of a definitely knows about some type of vehicle activity that their spouse has been committing upon an innocent person here. And they're not too happy about it. Because this right here can literally break these individuals up. Because this person could uh, go to jail for doing that. I'm telling you. There's a Gemini spouse that's not too happy here with blonde hair. What it looks like. 
There's a lot of blonde hair energy here. We have blonde hair right here. Look at this. Blonde hair. We also have blonde hair right here. And we have blonde hair right here. And we also have blonde hair. Some Leo in the chart. You can have a Leo rising. Don't have to be. They know what has went on behind uh, this person's back at a job. Who would they say it's a pinnacle diverse? And a spouse could be an earth sign here. Virgo towards Capricorn. And we have the five of wands here. I don't know why I got that energy and totally from the last read. But they had the magician with the love. This ain't going to resonate with everybody. But there's something to do with a vehicle situation here with the cherry car reverse. There's a lot of arguing going back and forth here. What is this argument about? Get up on out of here. What is this argument about? Possibly a Scorpio. We've seen a death card reverse earlier. Something to do with a Scorpio. And they're all arguing back and forth because they can't end things for this person with the death card reverse. They don't want to give something up. They're arguing back and forth because they need to end this out here and they're not ending it out. And look like to me, these females are literally triggered like because they're not wanting to end something out here. Why, why are they mad over a possible heavy Scorpio energy? Why are they mad over the Scorpio here? The Nine of Wands reversed. Because this is draining them in their energy with that uh, nine of wands reverse. Like, there's no point in, in keep and to keep on doing this to somebody. And it's like these individuals don't really like what this individual is doing. They don't really like that. They don't like what these individuals keep on trying to do to somebody, try to end things for them. I'm gonna tell you right now, brother. Justice card is in an upright position with the will of fortune. I'm telling you right now, brother. There's a lot of arguing going on. Look like to me over a Scorpio, a Libra, or a Cancer, or a Pisces here. But I clarify the five of wands with a death card reverse. This possibly has something involving a Scorpio here that these individuals are angry about going in circles about. Why are these individuals continuously arguing over a possible Scorpio, Libra, Cancer, or a Pisces? Why is this argument occurring here? It's like they're going in circles with each other. Why are they arguing? <clears throat> Why are they all arguing? Capricorn energy. Whatever this is, it's toxic as hell. Because they're not happy with the sun called reverse, they're not happy about something. They're not happy about the fact that somebody don't want to walk away because they're too much in their ego and someone's trying to talk to this individual. As I say, bro, just chill. Leave them alone. That's what I'm hearing. Leave them alone. Leave them alone. They, they, they can't understand why they keep on doing this back and forth. And it's like, bro, you got the truth. You got the truth. They got the evidence. Like, stop. Leave them alone. That's what I'm hearing this Gemini say this Empress Reverse. She's upset. She's an upset mother figure here. She's upset because she knows someone has the accurate evidence with the seven of pentacles here. And she's not too happy about this individual who keeps on wanting to mess with someone here. And she could have been paying attention at listening to this individual's messages with the page of cups. So if this is someone that, that that's a psychic here or don't have to be or someone that could be a messenger, that could be a speaker. She's been listening to something, and this is what's literally angering them because they don't want to give something up when someone is telling the truth. She's upset. Five of Cups here, she's upset. King of Cups reverse. That's a form of defamation of character here. Type situation. Yeah, Six of Cups reverse. They should have been unless this situation in the past, but they keep on trying to bother this individual and to try to upset this person. And just because they're upset, it's upsetting this individual too. You know what I'm saying? Hermit reverse. Like this individual is literally said, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't keep on doing that. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. I wouldn't keep on doing that. 
Five of Pentacles Reverse. <clears throat> the Ace of Wands. The, yeah, the Argon over Magician here. Someone who is very skilled, multi-talented, skilled. <laughs> They're watching a magician. So this Gemini, this uh, air sign, Gemini. They're watching a magician. And they could possibly like this magician here. Queen of Cups reverse. So this individual is literally in an emotional, abusive type of uh, connection here. They don't like their spouse. <laughs> they don't like their spouse. The same person they talking shit about that they trying to get this individual away from to stop bothering them is the same one this individual is literally paying attention to. Okay, you want to keep being this with some misleading information? Well, and, and try to upset the whole damn household? Well, guess what? Here, this is what it is. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Good. Good. <laughs> Look at that. The Ten of Wands reverse. This individual is literally in an emotional, abusive type of connection here. They try to put up the front as if they're a happy family, but they're really not. And we have the eight of wands here. I'm going to tell you right now, bro, whoever this individual is, could be a Leo too. Whoever this is, it's not happy. It could be a Leo that may not be happy with the situation. And they could have walked away and left it alone or whatever. But there's also Gemini very heavily with the magician and the page of swords. It's all about Gemini energy. Remember how I channeled that earlier with the magician and the lovers? But this could be someone completely different. But what I'm getting here with this situation right here is a Gemini that is literally upset at the fact that these individuals, that whoever they're with, whoever they're partnering up with, with the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups reverse, she's not really happy in a connection or he is not really in a happy connection. And they're also not happy about them not wanting to leave someone alone with illusions. Trying to literally supervise an innocent person. And this person can't figure out how the hell you know all this with the Page of Swords. Because they're meant to know it. If these individuals keep on playing around this magician's energy, bro, this magician is going to come out unexpectedly and literally tell things that will blow your mind, bro. They know things that the average person don't know is because they're psychic. They have strong psychic powers. Stay away from this magician, bro. Whoever this is, stay away from them. And someone is literally on guard, too. Like, they're kind of scared. But there's an attraction here, too. <laughs> Why would that Ace of Wands be there right beside the Magician? That's right beside Gemini. Why would that Ace of Wands be there? That's all about attraction. I'm telling you. Look like to me, this individual is in an abusive connection here. And this is what they're arguing about because... The more that they argue, but the more this individual does this to the person that they keep on trying to look into, is the more attracted they become to this individual that they keep on trying to harass or bully or whatever, that the more that this individual becomes intrigued and attracted to them. This person losing their whole love, their whole connection goal, their whole connection falling apart because of the individual being on it. That's usually how it turns out, yeah. would be like the movie this is giving me the movie of karate karate because you remember how he was a bully like like trying to bully daniel's son or whatever trying to bully him but yet it turns out daniel learned how to how to how to fight etc and he won that match didn't he but yet the girl wanted him the girl wanted him he wasn't a bully but he's still himself The girl wanted him. You know what I'm saying? I forgot what her name was. But yeah, it was on that movie, Karate. It was on that movie with Mr. Miyagi. It was on that movie. And this is giving me karate vibes with the uh, magician. And they have that belt that's right there around the waist. That could be like a karate suit. 
etc. Don't have to be. But this is giving me the vibes of that because the more that the individual tried to, to bully the dude that didn't know how to really fight that well until Mr. Miyagi taught him, the more the individual will become intrigued by them. That's exactly what that is. And don't you know his Zodiac sign, that actor that played that scene is a Scorpio? That learned how to fight for Mr. Miyagi? He's a Scorpio in real life. He sure is. It's like the more that they attack whoever this magician is, could be a Virgo too, a Virgo or Gemini, okay? Whoever keeps trying to attack this magician with some form of lies here to create some type of illusion when there's plenty of evidence to back up that it's nothing but illusions being created. A lot of just want to do things just to do it, just because. And someone's like, bro, leave him alone. Leave him alone. Like, just leave him alone. And, and this could be what this couple is arguing about. So this is definitely a Gemini with somebody else. Could be an earth sign here or a fire sign. And they're arguing back and forth. But they ain't really too happy in this connection. They're all disappointed with the five of cups. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they argue because th this been needed to end. And, and it could be talking about other people that was involved with the situation too like bro tell the Sagittarius or whoever this is back off bro y'all like y'all need to stop y'all need to stop y'all need to stop this is gonna break up the family bro y'all need to stop but they just keep on and keep on with the eight of cups traverse and I want to leave alone yeah let's just do another another time Another time, another time, another time, another time. Like, damn, how, how many times? You don't see him. <clears throat> you don't see Well, I'm I got my quirky side here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, look. The whole damn household's upset. The whole household's upset. This is how much it's affecting these individuals while trying to affect this person, which could be you. Trying to literally affect you, but yet it's affecting the household. The six of couple to the sun called reverse. The whole damn family ain't happy. All while trying to bother you and yet one of these individuals, I'm getting it, could be the husband, could be the wife, whoever this is, are definitely intrigued by you and the more that this is done to the person that they are trying to screw with is the more that their lover becomes attracted to the person that they won't leave alone. And this is part of their karma with the justice and the will of fortune. Because they treat this person like shit behind closed doors. They talk to him like a rag doll is what I'm getting. They talk to him like a rag doll. They put him down. They try to bully him. They treat him like trash. This is pushing him away. Only people that put other people down have low self-esteem. And insecurity issues. That's the facts. And I'm going to tell you right now, you are one of the individuals that are very powerful. You don't have to go out there and go around and bully other people or to try to intimidate other people in order to be attractive. That's the facts also. Because I'm going to tell you right now, bro, bullies are actually really weak. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <clears throat> they literally had this one that used to pick on me a long time ago until I learned martial arts, martial arts boxing. Now I combine both of them together with a little bit of street fighting techniques. 
And that, that was his last mistake to put the gloves on me, bro, because I hit him one time. <laughs> Fell over like a tree. <clears throat> that was with UFC gloves on. Mm-hmm. I just ain't gonna fuck with me no more. I didn't tell him that. I mean, I did sit there, you know, like a lot of people would literally go to jump on top of him. No, you don't do that. Even though that was the rules, whatever, like, you know, until somebody breaks it or whatever, but at the same time, if they fall over, brother, knock that, you back off. You back off. That right there is, is a respectful thing from a true blooded fighter. You back off. You back off. Leave it alone. If you can sit there and tend to them, if they hurt, do that to them. Reach your hand down. Pick them up. As I say, hey, y'all, right? Because you ain't meant to be enemies with that person. That's the true meaning of earning respect. You're not supposed to be enemies with that person. It's to teach them a lesson. It's to teach them a lesson. That's the true essence beyond having a heart of gold and having heart. And having a good character. You never should fight out of anger. Because that's when you're going to lose control. But anyways, getting back to the message here. What I'm getting here is the more that they try to keep this cycle ongoing and ongoing, the more it causes these individuals to separate and the more it causes this individual to be irritated. I'm also getting this person could have hunches that they may be into you. And this is also what's triggering them. Why they don't want to leave you alone. Because either their spouse, their husband, or wife, or their girlfriend, or boyfriend could have found out that they're actually intrigued by you. And it's causing them to argue. So yet they want to take that out on you. But yet they don't want just trying to, that continuously don't want to leave you alone. If they leave you alone, then guess what? There wouldn't be no arguing in the family here. Maybe they would have their connection back. Maybe they would be happy. But yet at the same time, the more that they try to bother you, the more this individual becomes intrigued and wants to get to know you, but yet may not be talking to you. That's kind of the vibes I'm getting, y'all, to be honest with you. But you are going to get justice over the situation. They could be arguing back and forth. As I say, look, bro, just end out this cycle and give them their justice like they got way too much evidence with the seven of pentacles and they know that you're telling the truth too. They know that you're telling the truth. So if somebody don't want to leave you alone or keeps on bothering you, you have evidence on that to combat some form of illusions with the seven of cups because they're just bothering you with nothing but lies, deception with the seven of cups. There's nothing on you, but yet they keep on trying to do this just because their ego is hurt with the sun called reverse. They just want to try to bother you just because they want to bother you. But that ain't right. And the more they try to bother you, the more their spouse separates from them and becomes more intrigued by you. <laughs> I'm telling you right now, but they could talk all kind of trash to this individual, and yet they ain't going along with it. They literally are keeping that to themselves until they get to their job and they think about you. And they possibly watch at their job. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> This person could be some type of uh with the paint with the sword tear that could be interpreted as scissors. Something about scissors. And with the hair being right there close to the sword, that would represent some type of haircut, right? This person could cut their own hair, or they could style their own hair, etc. That's what I'm getting. Don't have to be. Something to do with hair. Like, they could like fix their hair up a lot or whatever. Like, there's something to do with the hair here. Because we have the sword, which could be interpreted as, hold on. You have the sword right, hold on, y'all. We have the sword right here that's next to the hair. That could be interpreted as scissors. And we literally have the hair that's close by the sword, even though. It is the Page of Swords, but it, you have to read this intuitively to see what character this is here. This is a, a air sign that possibly has some type of involvement with styling their hair, etc. 
or trimming their hair. That's what the imagery on the card shows. They could chew a lot of gum. They could chew spearmint, something to do with spearmint, or they could chew like, I don't know if they still have dentine ice or whatever, or some type of gum. Mint toes or something, but there's literally a bubble that's in front of their face. So they could chew a lot of gum and blow bubbles just to blow them. Just to hear it go like that. <laughs> I'm telling you. And they have the birds that's up here that's in a fish shape. Y'all see that? It's kind of like in a fish shape. Get out of here. So yeah, they definitely have some some energy right here to where there's some bird that's flying around that's in a fish shape. I'm going to tell you right now, bro, this individual, like, they're not, they're only deceptive when they're pushing that point is what I'm getting because this individual wants their freedom. If this is an air sign, let me tell you something. This person right here, not, you can't really say all air signs are like that, but I'm going to tell you right now, bro, air wants to breathe. If someone is all over and trying to put them down and control, they're going to get up out of there, bro. I'm telling you. <laughs> they sneak in here. The Page of Swords, that could be like a clever, sneaky energy, and they do it on their own time. They sit there a while, going back and forth with this situation, but yet they sit back and watch the individual that's getting the shit talked about, about them. They sit back and watch the same person's getting wrecked over behind the scenes with some type of misleading information. <laughs> Good. Good. Talking some more. You know what I'm saying? Maybe. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. Talking some more. <laughs> Maybe it'll push them all the way out to the individual's life. That's what I'm getting here. Maybe it'll push this, this individual all the way out this individual's life. Then they really have something to be mad over. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. They're literally going to keep pushing the issue here. Something to do with chewing gum. And something to do with, like, they could have thinned their hair or whatever, like, with the magician. Like, that's all about a haircut, like, down to the shoulder length or whatever. It don't have to be. But this individual definitely has some type of skill or something with the Page of Swords. And they could also be a writer. Okay? Or they could just love cutting their hair sometimes. This is the type of characteristic this Page of Swords energy is giving me. Could also be a barber. Could either be a barber. Or whatever I said earlier. So if this is a man, this could be a barber, etc. That could possibly be into you. That could cut his own hair, etc. This could be interpreted as a barber because we got like the coat, how they put the coat over you, like that that thing that catches the hair, etc. This is what this could be. That. But whoever this is, it definitely uh, could be a Virgo too. Whoever this individual is, look like to me, they're intrigued here. And with the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups reverse, this is people that are emotionally. These are people that are emotionally unhappy in a connection with the Sun card reverse. They're not happy about these individuals not wanting to end something here. Like these people just want to keep on. Start conflict after conflict after conflict. I don't know when to know, don't know when to give something up. And look like to me illusions with the seven of cups. Like there's nothing on you. There's nothing on you to keep on trying to bother you with. But they just want to do it just cause. And yet, this ain't gonna get the situation nowhere. And that's kind of what I'm getting intuitively.
And I was picking up that energy earlier. I was picking up that energy earlier. But there's definitely something that's going to turn in your favor with the will of fortune here. You could be standing your ground. You could be a Leo for some of you, a Libra or a Cancer, that you're standing your ground, etc. And they don't know why they keep on doing this. I'm telling you, bro, it's for egotistical purposes. It's because you just are someone that is very talented and very skilled, and it, that's exactly why they don't want to give it up. Because of jealousy. <clears throat> so how does this person feel about this person that may be intrigued? How does this intrigued person feel about this person? Four of Wands, a full reverse. So how does this person feel about this person? How does this intrigued person feel about this person that's going through this? Give me one more shuffle. That's just what I'm channeling intuitively. <clears throat> the Ten of Swords. We have the Queen of Wands. Like, they feel like you're being betrayed, bro. Like, they, they, they have feelings. You're being betrayed here. This is what's going through their mind, but they're also attracted to you, too. The Queen of Wands. Didn't I tell y'all that? They're attracted to you. They're attracted to you, bro. I'm telling you, this air sign or fire. They can have fire sign. They charge this heavy air sign energy. They're attracted to you, bro. I'm telling you. They're attracted to you. We have the Emperor Traverse. We have the Tower Cup Traverse. We have the Eight of Pentacles Traverse. And we also have the Hangman Reverse. So this individual is definitely, um, how can I say this? They know that you get betrayed by a Queen of Pentacles Traverse. Could be an Earth sign because this has been talked to this individual. This has been told to this individual. So if this individual is with somebody, they told, they love her this. With the Queen of Wands, they told they love her that. They ran their mouth to the wrong one because this individual right here literally looks like to me they don't want to be involved in these delays here because this will be coming to an end. This will be coming to an end. Heavy Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, we have Aries, Virgo energy here. We also have Taurus and Pisces energy. So there's a lot of energies here involved in the situation. We also have Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio with the Wheel of Fortune reverse. They feel like you're being abused here, like, like someone just, they don't know how to leave you alone. They also feel like they want to come and tell you something. They possibly will tell you something whenever this person's caught. This could be uh, someone's father figure getting caught up here with the Emperor Reverse. Whoever has some type of authority is going to be getting caught with the Emperor Reverse. And we, we also have an Empress Reverse here too. <clears throat> That's what I'm getting. Why is the tower card here? Why is the tower card here? You bullshit voodoo when you're working. I sent it back to Jesus Almighty's name. You do not have my consent permission or access to my energy in Jesus Almighty's name. The fuck out of here. Why is the tower card here? Okay, y'all, I'm back with the message. But anyways, we have the lovers card here. So there's a breakup. There's Gemini energy again. The lovers represent Gemini energy. This looked like to me, this is a breakup here. This is definitely a breakup. We have the three of cups here. But this is going to be a celebration at the same time. Queen of Dillard, there's that Gemini. Queen of Swords. 
the page of Pentacles reverse, so she could possibly come tell you something. She could possibly come tell you something or whatever. We have the nine of Pentacles reverse. What was being done to you? She's not involved with this with the five of wands reverse, so she's not involved with this. She's been the main one trying to talk this individual out of doing this here because this ain't going to work. This ain't going to work. Three of swords reverse. We also have the full card reverse. We have the four of cups. The eight of wands reverse. We have the seven of wands. Just like I said, bro, this is not going to work because someone is too protected from the situation. So this individual could be giving you some form of information on what was going on that they support you. The Ace of Swords reverse. So she knows about these lies. This Queen of Swords, that's a Gemini, knows about these lies. And they know about what they, what they uh, spouse or whoever this is that they're in a connection with has been doing to you. This is someone that's located nearby you with the Six of Cups. So this is someone that lives in, in the neighborhood that you do with the Six of Cups here. We also have the Will of Fortune reverse. And we have the Ace of Cups reverse here. This is upsetting to them because... They possibly know about your destiny with the will of fortune reverse. So this individual possibly knows about your destiny. They know that this was upsetting you. Look like to me, three feminines here. This individual definitely has three female friends here that support you also. It's not just them. There's three other females that support you also because you're a stand-up person. And they don't agree to this being done to you either. That's the kind of vibes I'm getting. They don't agree to you going through this because you're one person that's literally having to come up against all this and literally stand up for yourself. So they see you as tough. They see you as tough. And yet these individuals are trying to be tough, trying to act tough, but yet... They being like a punk here. There's some punk shit here. They try to do this to one person. And, and, and yet they trying to show off in front of the old lady or the old man or whatever. This ain't attracting them. This is literally having them attracted to you even more. That's they karma though. That's they karma though. <laughs> It's called to be also be a group of feminines here with the five of wands reverse. But I'm getting the females. There's three females that's not involved with this group conflict. There's possibly four of them here. Three, and then we have one right here. That would be four. So whoever this is, hold on. So whoever this is. I definitely knows this is falsified information about you. They know that this is lies with Ace of Sword Diverse. And they're going to be glad that they can't hurt you with these lies here. That's what I'm getting with this situation. So they're going to be glad that these lies has came up here. There could also be a couple here with the Empress and the Emperor Reverse. And we have Queen of Pentacles Reverse that was also involved with the betrayal. Look like to me, this individual cares about your well-being. could be a cancer for some of you. This individual cares about your well-being. You have three different people here that may be supporting you in secret. They're not saying anything with the Ace of Swords Reverse. They ain't telling you nothing. But they could be celebrating you whenever this is over because they don't really want to be with this person anymore. That's what it looks like. It looks like to me a breakup between two people right here. It could be between a Scorpio and somebody else. Don't have to be. But it looks like to me that there's a breakup here with a tower card. <clears throat> That's what I'm getting. So, yeah, there's definitely something coming out here. And it looked like to me a mother figure and a father figure are not compatible at all with each other. This is another thing 
that they're not happy about because they have been betraying you and they could have been, could have been betraying them also with someone else. Messing around on them, etc. This is all going to come out, bro. I'm telling you. It looked like to me this is a breakup between a couple right here with a tower card. That's part of their karma, though, for trying to screw with you. That's what I'm getting with this energy here. <clears throat> but I did pick up heavy Gemini energy with a magician and a, and the lovers. Or you could be a Gemini. Y'all both could be Gemini. You could be a Virgo. That's just what I was channeling from the last reading. So let's go ahead and get some clarity on this negative energy that's in here right now. Holy Spirit. Why is there some negative energy in here right now? Can I cut your verse? Why is there some negative energy in here right now? Let's go ahead and read this energy to dissolve it. Then I got it to transmute this energy into more positivity. So what's going on with this negative energy in here lingering around on this live stream? Nine of Cups, Page of Wands, Queen of Pentacles Reverse, a fucking witch that's in here, Six of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Four of Cups Reverse, we have the Eight of Wands, we have the Justice card, Justice is going to be served over this Queen of Pentacles Reverse, I'm telling you, this energy ain't going to be in here no more, this energy ain't going to be in here no more, Two of Swords Reverse, there's Justice that's going to be served, and this individual's mad about that. They're trying to do magic and all to try to slow somebody's justice down. It ain't going to slow nothing down. Something's already in motion because something has already been seen for what it is. You ain't supposed to have this individual looked in on and yet you involved with it. Take your karma, bro. Take your karma. Page of cups. <clears throat> Look. The temperance card, so whoever this is, is protected. You could be a Sagittarius, you could be a Libra, you could be a Virgo. You're protected here. Look, six of wands here. I'm telling you, this individual that, that is uh, possible on a public platform or could be very successful at any aspect in their life is getting some type of victory over a Queen of Pentacles reverse situation. She showed herself earlier, too. Yeah, she's doing uh, voodoo. Voodoo. Strength card reverse, and we have the Ten of Swords. This is a doll right here, a voodoo doll being used. What a weak coward here with the Queen of Pentacles reverse. This is a coward trying to slow justice down, trying to slow someone's justice down, but something is already in motion here with the Six of Swords. This is literally a voodoo doll. Remember when I felt that energy earlier? You could do all the voodoo in the world. It's going to backfire and hit you 100,000 times full because I do not give permission, consent, or to allow you in my energetic field of energy or to send any type of demons to form the connection from my energetic field of energy or my spiritual side to any form of object. Screw you and your object. I curse it in the name of Jesus Christ. And by the blood and by the authority and by the fire of the Holy Spirit, that object has been dissolved in my energy. In somebody's name. Get up on out of here. That's how you have to do that. And you will literally feel something lift off you like that. You can also take a spiritual bath too. You have the authority to curse that spell or whatever it is in Jesus Almighty name. That's what you do. You put an end to it. This person ain't that damn experienced. I'm going to tell you that right now. They're weak with the moon card. This shit is weak. I'm going to call it exactly what it is. I'm not going to give it power. It's weak. And this is exactly what's going to bring them to their demise. In Jesus' almighty name. I call out exactly for what it is. St. Michael the Archangel, may you take your sword. This could be Archangel Michael's sword right here. 
because we literally have the swords representing God's symbolism here because it's in the shape of a cross. But at the same time, when it comes to this type of energy right here, you have to call out, bro. You have to call out to the spirit world. I do not give permission or consent for these individuals to do anything to me spiritually, energetically, whatsoever. I do not consent. I do not come into agreement. And I do not give permission for it to manifest. You do not give it permission. You keep on rejecting, 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 rebuke, and cancel it. Reject, rebuke, cancel. Reject, rebuke, cancel. Reject, rebuke, cancel. This is not my energy. This has, this has no authority, no type of power. It has no type of connection to me. So therefore, it cannot attach itself to me. I'm telling you. You have to stand up for yourself. You have to stand up for yourself and call out for what it is. I do not allow myself to be in. How can I say this? I do not allow myself to be in an extension of negative energy or to allow any demonic force to try to be conjured up from the underworld and or to form an unlawful spiritual connection to any type of object in order to harm you energetically. You have to speak it out loud, bro. I'm telling you. You have to, talk, you have to say it out loud. Keep on speaking it out loud. I do not consent. I do not agree. I do not consent. I do not agree. I do not consent. I do not agree. Get out of here. Leave me alone. I send you back in the name of Jesus. Leave me alone. I command you to leave in the name of Jesus. I'm not asking. I'm commanding you by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ. You leave my energy now and it will leave. That's how you fight this type of energy right here. That's how you stop this. It's that simple. You ain't got to have no crystals around you, bracelets on, necklaces on. All you have to do is call on the Lord and believe that he has the power to destroy that because he does. He's the one that rules the heavenly realm. He's the one that rules the heavenly realm of the spirit world. And when you call in his name, bro, when you call upon him, he is going to completely dissolve everything of what's being done. You can also call upon St. Michael the Archangel too because he's going to shield you in your energy. He's going to put up a protection barrier around you in the spirit world. And anything that is open upon you, any type of portal that's open, it will be sealed shut and it will go directly back where it came from and mess this individual all up, I'm telling you. Because you have to speak it into existence. You have the power of the tongue for a reason. You call these witches out. You call them out. That's your authority. You call them out and put them in a place. Because they have no authority over your destiny or over your livelihood. And has absolutely no right to connect themselves to your energy to manipulate it in any shape, form, or fashion. You have the power to destroy them spiritually. And when they're spiritually destroyed, it will automatically manifest and through other areas of their life because they're not doing something right. They're disobeying spiritual law and you need to call it out because when you call it out, God will judge them immediately and put them under judgment and stop them. That's how you handle a situation like that. You don't sit back and have fear of these individuals. They're scared of you. Why do you think they're doing that? Because they're scared of you. They're scared of you. They're powerless when it comes to you. See, these type of individuals can work on weak type of people, weak spirited type of individual, mentally weak people. But when it comes to someone that has the power of the Holy Spirit that's flowing through their vessel, this will completely burn. Like It wouldn't even have the ability to attach. Or even if it does, if it tries to form a connection, the Holy Spirit will literally burn it off of you. That's exactly what that is, bro. That fire is so hot. It don't even give the authority. It can't even get close enough to you to stick. Even though you may feel something trying to manipulate, the, the fire of the Holy Spirit will literally dissolve it before it has the time to stick to your vessel or to stick to your energy. Okay? So that's exactly what this is with this Queen of Pentacles verse. It ain't going to slow nothing down because you're going to get justice for that. You could be a Libra that could be getting justice. I've been pulling the justice card a lot. You could be a Libra. You could be a Cancer, a Sagittarius, a Leo, a Virgo, 
What's on the bottom here? Nine of Cups. Hey, I appreciate that 10. Whoever sent me that. I appreciate that 10. For the super chat, I appreciate that. Well, 11.59, but I, I greatly appreciate that, y'all. Whoever sent me that. May God bless you in return. But anyways, what I'm getting here is you will get confirmation on the situation. You could be a Sagittarius that could have been going through something, a Cancer, a Virgo, Leo, and Libra energy that could have been going through something. But yet you're going to get confirmation of good news. You could also be receiving an enormous amount of downloads with the Temperance card and the Eight of Wands. So you're definitely receiving some form of downloads that everything is going to be okay. Archangel Michael had you protected from these illusions. And that's exactly what's happening right now. You're protected from that. They ain't slowing your justice down one bit. Something is already in motion and moving. We have movement here. Six of Wands and Six of Swords. That's all about movement. Yeah, you're going to be helped out with the Six of Pentacles here. You can also be getting helped out spiritually. So this right here is clarifying this energy right here. You will be helped out with the Six of Pentacles because you told the truth here. The Justice card is all about the truth. You communicated the truth with these individuals and told them what was going on. And since you told the truth, that's exactly what has something in motion. Okay? Clarify the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, look at that. You're being helped out because you was tore up throughout the situation here with the Five of Pentacles energy. You're being helped out because you was torn up from a situation. And you was been supposed to be helped out from this situation a long time ago. But yet, since they refused to give you your justice, you're going to get your justice any damn ways. Yeah, over these lies here with the Ace of Swords reverse. So you're definitely being helped out. Look at that Ace of Pentacles. I'm telling you, you're being helped out big time. And we have the Chariot card. You could be a cancer, just like I said. <clears throat> to make people like you ask questions. Now get out of here. <laughs> it's called being your true authentic self and not giving a damn what anybody else has to say about it. That's what it's called. It's fun time for us clairvoyance. It's fun time. Because there's enough of this right here with the Ten of Swords. There's enough of that. It's our time to shine. It's our time to shine. It's time for people to step in their power with the Six of Wands. Even if you're not a clairvoyant, you could be a very creative type of individual. You could be a writer. That could be interpreted as a pencil or a pen. You could be a writer or something. It's your time to shine. It is your time to shine, bro. You could be a fire sign, a Sagittarius. It's your time to shine. You could be a healer. That could be a Sagittarius. It's your time to shine. You could be a Libra. That could be a healer. You could be a spiritualist. That could be a Libra. It's your time to shine. You could be a cancer. That could be a spiritualist. Or you could be a creative type individual that speaks out against certain things. It's your time to shine. You've been patient long enough. You could also be a Pisces. Just like I said, you could be a spiritualist. It's your time to shine. And you have been waiting long enough here with the hangman car. You have been waiting long enough. But guess what? Due to your patience, something is moving forward here. And it may have took a long time. And y'all may hear this a lot. But patience is key, especially when it comes to some type of manipulation. Because that's exactly what's being done right now. A lot of manipulation over these full moons, under these full moons. Where do you think they are? I'm telling you right now, bro, this individual literally has no skill. I'm going to call it exactly how it is. I'm going to discredit their abilities because that right there will shatter the illusion even more here. Don't believe in it. Even though it may be real, choose to not believe in it. Believe your power is more powerful than what they're trying to do because their power is nothing but illusions. That's where their power comes from. When you feed the illusion, you make it reality. That's a fact. 
When you choose to feed into the illusion, you create the reality of what the illusion is trying to simulate as reality. Don't that make sense? So you have to be a philosophical type of person to combat this type of nonsense. Because I'm going to tell you something right now. Voodoo is real. They do indeed use voodoo dolls to inflict pain and to try to torture. But at the same time, in order to break that loose, you have to have power over it. Now, an average person will watch a video like this and get all freaked out. Because they're not surrounded or fulfilled with the presence of the Holy Spirit. You don't have to be a perfect individual either. You don't have to be a religious person. You don't have to be all perfect like some of these individuals say all the time. God don't want you to be perfect. He wants you to be powerful. He wants you to be fearless and he wants you to lead the way. That's what he called you to do. He wants you to lead the way. And when they have people like this that's trying to interfere with your energy, you have the power to defeat these type of people in the spirit world because that's all it is that's operating through this empty ass vessel is a demonic spirit. That's all that it is. A demonic spirit. Keep that in mind. It's a demonic spirit that's operating this vessel to have them do this to you. That's exactly what this is. And when you can see that from a spiritual perspective, you will literally block all monetary spirits. You will have what they call that dominion or whatever, however you say that word. You have the authority over them. Because if you belong to God, you believe in him and you have a close connection with him. You literally have the power. You have the power to call it out. That right there would be the weapon of the tongue. That's the most powerfulest weapon, bro, when it comes to the spirit world. The power of the tongue, because when you voice something, your angels hear you. And if you're not speaking on something, then how is your angels going to be able to assist you? Just like whenever you call on somebody for help physically. How the hell are they supposed to help you out if you ain't making a phone call? You have to speak it out to existence, because believe it or not, you have angels around you all the time. Now, you have to be curious and cautious on what angels are around you because that could be masquerading spirits. You have to make sure that you're in the presence of genuine angels that are not shape-shifting, that are not being deceptive. That's the number two things that you have to pay attention to when it comes to a situation like this. Because you could, all, you, you could give your trust to the wrong type of angel. That could be a dark angel. That could be a dark-spirited angel or whatever. Or have you say that. It could be a dark spirit that will win your trust over in a very deceptive type of way in order to deceive you and start attacking you even more. You have to have discernment over the type of spirits or angels that are in your vicinity. And you have the power to call it out. If you are not of the Lord Jesus Christ or the Holy Spirit, I command you to leave now and go back where you came from. I don't believe in your deception. I don't believe in your illusions. I don't believe in these, these, these thoughts you're trying to implant in my head because that's all that it is. It's an evil spirit trying to speak to your spirit and to pollute your mind. It's, it's to pollute and to manipulate you on a spiritual level. When you call that out, it has no power to do that anymore. It's going to go back where it came from. I'm telling you. Because that's all that it is. When these type of individuals know that they could get in your head, they also have control over your spirit. Because whatever is believed mentally is what's going to manifest energetically and spiritually. But guess what? Archangel Michael showed up right here. You know what I'm saying? He's sitting there protecting you. Against this individual right here. It literally has your angels in motion to come in and to remove you out of this distress type of situation and to have you keep, to keep on moving forward. No matter if the weight of the world is on your shoulders or not, he knows, spirit realm knows that you have the power to keep pushing forward. You have the power to keep pushing forward. That's the truth. Screw this type of evil spirit and its illusions. Call it out for what it is. Dissolve to ashes in Jesus' mighty name. I command this evil spirit that's operating through this Quentin Pinnacle Diversions vessel to dissolve to ashes. Get out of here. You're not welcome. You're not welcome. You're forbidden from my life. You're forbidden from the spirit world. Your witchcraft or whatever you're using is forbidden from me. 
And I speak that in the name of Jesus. It's forbidden. You have to keep on speaking up, bro. You have to keep on speaking it because when you speak it after, how can I say this? When you speak it repetitively, it will go away. It will go away. <clears throat> Simple as that. But anyways, let's go ahead and get another message for this uh, Three of Wands Reverse. So we have the Three of Wands Reverse. <clears throat> so yeah, you're getting some form of justice for some type of delays here. This could have been going on the last one to two to three weeks. There was some form of pattern here that was spotted too. This is a pattern. Y'all see that? This is a pattern here that was spotted. And it's stemming it right to the Queen of Pentacles reverse. Clarify that. You're also getting spiritual justice too. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles reverse. What's going on with this individual? She's caught. Five of Swords reverse. She's caught. Just like I said before, bro. Five of Swords reverse. It's not going to work. Whatever work she's trying to put in, it's going to fail relentlessly. I speak it into existence. It will fail relentlessly. It will fail relentlessly. It will be permanently blocked. It will fail relentlessly. Witchcraft that this individual is doing will fail repetitive and relentlessly. Witchcraft that this Queen of Pentacles reverse is doing will fail repetitively and relentlessly. Come on, let's all say this together since they want to try to chant. Anything that this Queen of Pentacles reverse is doing witchcraft will fail repetitively and relentlessly. The more people that come together to speak up, speak against this energy, the more it will resolve. It will dissolve and remove this energy out of the collective. You have to speak up, bro. You have to be strong in your spiritual prayers. <clears throat> Magician. Kind of beat you there too because you got blocked first. Loser. Simple as that. Anyways, getting back to the message. You have to come up against this Queen of Pentacles reverse relentlessly. You say, you do not have the power over me. You do not have the control. You do not have the authority. You do not have any form of consent, authority, or permission in order to have anything stick to me in the spirit world, energetically, or anything of that fashion or nature. Your witchcraft will fail repetitively and relentlessly. Your witchcraft will fail repetitively and relentlessly. Your witchcraft will backfire and fail repetitively and relentlessly in Jesus' almighty name. You have to keep on saying it out loud, bro, because I'm telling you, whenever you do that and you keep on doing it over and over and over and over and over and over and over, I'm telling you right now, bro, it's going to take effect immediately. And the more that you say that, the more that you believe in it, the more power you're going to have over these type of energies here. The more power you're going to have over these type of energies. I'm telling you. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and oh, get a card for the page of wands. Why is a page of wands here? We have the three of swords. I want to come up sideways kind of like this. So you're going to receive some good news in regards to a situation that was repetitively hurting you. That's going to be over with. Let's go ahead and clarify what are you getting justice for here. This Queen of Pentacles reverse is definitely caught here, bro. And they're trying to do some form of magic here to try to slow down some type of justice. They're already seen for what they've been doing. Something's already in motion. We're just going to call it the weak Queen of Pentacles reverse here because that's exactly who they are. They ain't got no power. They ain't got nothing. They ain't got nothing over you. <clears throat> Why is justice here for this person? Something to do with your psychic abilities. You could be a Leo or a Pisces. So why is justice here for this person? 
Oh, you know what I just thought of? Hold, hold up. I don't have any sage, but I have something else. Hold on. To cleanse the internet. Be right back, y'all. I got news for this toxic energy that's gonna leave real quick. This is Mother Nature right here, bro. Pine cone. This will cleanse the energy some, but I don't like pine. Like, it gets messy, just like sage, but it's worse. You got to watch pine cones, though. See, just that, that little right there could cleanse the energy. So let's go ahead and cleanse this energy, Holy Spirit. I do not allow any negative energy in this space, in my workspace, in my home, on my live streams. Let's go ahead and cleanse this energy. I remove all negative energy from here. Let's go ahead and sage up. We'll pine cone it up. <laughs> pine cone it up. There we go. <clears throat> that should go out in a minute it's right here that should go out but it's gonna burn for a good bit put it right here keep my eye on that pine cone but anyways matter of fact I'm gonna put it over here but anyways, that way I could get in front of the camera and create like a shield, a barrier right here, all the way across like that. You ain't getting in my energy. So clarify the justice. Why is justice here? Why is justice here? Why is justice here, Holy Spirit? Why is this person getting justice? Look, Six of Wands is showing itself again. The Ace of Pentacles, you could get some form of payout. You get some form of payout for some type of delays here. Yeah, you being misjudged repetitively with the judgment reverse here, Scorpio energy. You being misjudged repetitively with a situation from an Empress reverse here. The Eight of Wands and it's coming quickly. So you can move forward. Yeah, this is working in your favor here. This could also have something to do with your workplace. With the Three of uh, Pentacles. You are strong throughout this situation. So you're definitely getting just and you're going to come out stronger. Queen of Wands reverse. So you're getting justice over Empress reverse and the Queen of Wands reverse here. That was making misjudgments against you here. False judgment calls. Because of jealousy and envy. The four of wands. We have the two of swords. You may not see this coming. The seven of swords. You outsmarted these people. The will of fortune. Look, it's, it's your destiny to get justice here with this situation. Ten of cups. You can also have some new love coming in. And we have a king of pentacles reverse here. So you definitely are getting justice over all these individuals that was in collaboration with each other. And you being continuously rejected. These individuals are not wanting to leave you alone and back off you, and that's exactly what you're getting justice over. Because of something to do with your job that could have exposed this with the Three of Pentacles. You could be an earth sign that could have exposed this, etc. You just straight up outsmarted these people with the Seven of Swords. <clears throat> you could also be getting justice in your love life, too. 
Your destiny is clear. Your destiny is clear. Look at this. Your destiny is clear. Ain't none of these individuals shacking up on your destiny doing that to you, bro. I'm telling you. Uh-uh. It ain't going to happen. Look at what's right here. I'm telling you right now, bro, these tower cards have power to them. They will literally predict foresight visions or whatever, and they will literally give you an accurate prediction, especially when you pull the Wheel of Fortune. This is something that can't be manipulated. This is something that can't be stopped. This is too much movement here. There's too much movement here, movement here, bro. They could try all the manipulation of word. It still ain't going to stop the justice from coming to you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. <clears throat> so that's what I have for the other uh, message. Another message for today. Yeah, it's today, 2 o'clock, or well, 2.10 almost. <clears throat> so that's your justice for something that you had to go through. You can also be receiving spiritual justice. And these individuals are under judgment. Ace of Pentacles again, then we have three of wands reverse again. So give me a uh, give me cards of the day. Give me cards of the day, Holy Spirit. Look at that. Will of Fortune. Strength card, two of swords. Give me cards for the day from the higher power. Lord, what do you need to let the collective know for today? For cards of the day. Go on, that was a good shuffle right there. I felt that one. Look, check it out. Move this out the way. Look. <clears throat> we have the Three of Wands. We also have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Page of Swords. Someone has been uh, observing your investments here with the Seven of uh, Pentacles. We have the Hermit. The Fool card. This sort of is very intrigued by what you've been investing in. They literally are seeing the truth here. They're seeing the truth here that you ain't about an illusion and you're not a toxic individual at all. There's an investigator that possibly knows this. With the Hermit card, they know this. They notice, they know that you that you have been put in despair here with a star card reverse. They know that you have an opportunity taken from you. They're protecting you with the temperance card. The Knight of Pentacles, just like I said, you're protected from the situation. Your money's protected. Your financial stability is protected against these lies. I'm also literally getting the vibes of this is private here. This is private. This is not an organization. But this is a private eye. There's literally, there could be a private investigator that is literally turned against someone here. That is literally using this individual's misleading information against them in order to build something on them and protect you throughout the process. Because they know they could get in trouble for looking in on you whenever you got some form of evidence here. This private investigator has been lied to is what I'm getting with the hermit card. This is what they're seeing here. This person's been lied to. This person's reckless with their mouth with the Queen of Swords reverse. That's something else that they're seeing. And we have the Nine of Pentacles reverse. They know that this individual just wanted money out of a situation. And this private investigator could be using this against them in order to turn this into the feds is what I'm getting. They trusted the wrong individual right here, bro. I'm telling you. They trusted the wrong person. Because this individual literally sees your investments. They see that you're not abusive. If this individual ever made any form of allegation against you, it was false. And there it looked like to me a PI is, is uncovering this and seeing this for themselves. Okay, not all of them are bad, bro. Even though someone may have contacted them, it don't matter. 
Not all of them are bad. Some of them get lied to, bro. So just know that your situation will increase majorly. And whoever has been trying to put you in despair with illusions, that's all coming up to the surface to where this hermit card can see it. This could be an investigator to where they can see it. Okay? They see your accurate investment here that you don't have to manipulate anything. And this is literally combating this individual's lies here with the Queen of Swords reverse. So if this individual is trying to play victim to this individual, they can literally use that against them because there's nothing on you. And, and everything of what this individual tried to do to try to get something on you is literally reversing on them. And they're collecting what they're collecting what you have been obtaining on this individual, which is the truth with the moon card reverse to possibly use against them because they don't want to see you go down because they possibly know that you have some type of protection. And I'm going to tell you right now, bro. This may be a PI right here with the hermit and the page of swords because the reason why I'm getting that is because of the hermit. This is all about someone that's alone, which would be kind of private, right? And we have the page of swords. But at the same time, this individual does not want the blue and the blue jackets with the yellow letters on their ass. Because this could come back, bro, and get this individual in a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of trouble. For looking in on you for nothing. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Look, look like to me someone's going to be doing the right thing here. And this is right directly underneath the spotlight. And if you look at this lantern right here. If you look at this stick. This could be interpreted as a measuring stick right here. There's nothing on you here. That stick is not in the ground. There's nothing on you to actually get something. But yet there's something that's on this situation that has literally been locking you down right here. Locking you down. This is all about a lockdown. That could be interpreted as bars too. Look at that. Don't that look like a set of jail bars? Even though it's a couple bars right here, three bars. Don't that look like bars? Trying to put somebody where they don't belong and yet you literally have a helping hand that's literally you could be illuminating something to this individual right here about what this individual has been doing because they had this individual involved in trying to do something. But yet there's something that is being seen exactly for what it is and you ain't had to manipulate nothing with the seven of pentacles. This is what's going to set you free and catch this individual all up, bro, I'm telling you. This is literally defeating a Queen of Swords reverse. Whoever this character is right here, it's defeating them. So anyways, getting back to this message, y'all, keep on uh, keep on investing into your business here with the Seven of Pentacles. You're doing the right thing. If you have some form of evidence, you could po possibly have been, you could have possibly revealed something to this hermit card. Here's what it looks like. And this person is bitter as hell because they can't put you in a Five of Pentacles energy. Because you was already in this position before you got in the position that you're in. And if you look at the star card, this is all about despair here. Whoever was trying to put you in despair with the star reverse, this is what's going to happen to them. They're going to get caged up, bro. I'm telling you, this is all about jail right here. Whoever was doing this to try to put you in despair with some form of lies and misleading information, this is going to get them caught up. And this is what's going to defeat this negative energy out of your energy. Because something is definitely coming to the light here and you're protected too. Whoever this individual is definitely knows that you're an earth angel. Okay? They know that you're an earth angel and that you may need some type of protection. And it looks like to me they could be changing the situation and literally being there for you. And using this individual's false misleading information that they was trying to put against you to use it against them and also in order to collect things that you have revealed about this individual. In order to literally have them caught up. Because that's the right thing to do. It's, instead of messing with an innocent person that's just out there trying to heal. 
being a healer. They're not screwing with anybody. They're just being a healer with the temperance card. <clears throat> this individual can also be evaluated mentally and to see that they have a mental problem. That's what's that, that's kind of what I'm getting here too. Because anybody to go to these extremes in order to lie about this and to try to do all this stuff to you like this and yet be contradicting all at the same time, this person ain't right in the head, bro. With the Queen of Sword Diverse, could be a King of Sword Diverse too. Whoever the individual is, is definitely not right in the head. Because ain't nothing making sense. Ain't nothing making sense of what this individual has been trying to do. And yet everything of what they try to do is a contradiction. It's like they would tell a lie, go back and literally contradict everything of what they're trying to do. And yet there ain't nothing that's legitimate that came from this individual and all for this to go through. But yet you have something on this individual to prove the contradictions of what they have been doing. So that's another thing for you to know today. Okay. They know that you're not a toxic person. You're not an abuser. So if this individual try to get you in trouble, try to accuse you or make false allegations that you was an abuser, that you was trying to bully or do whatever this individual was trying to claim that you was doing, it's not the truth because you have the proof here with the seven of pentacles and you don't have to manipulate anything. Some of you out there could have used your intuition and revealed this with your intuitive insight and visions. To prove to this individual, you may not even know that this individual was watching over you behind the scenes, but it looked like to me they were. So you already have somebody that's there. You always have someone that's watching over you. You have the wisdom on who this is. You, are, you have definitely been alerted on who this individual is that's been lying on you. And this has been brought to the light. This is what's going to be happening today with the moon card reversed. You're protected from the situation. This person is not going to be able to lie anymore. They're not going to be able to twist truths or do anything to you. You put this individual in a place. If you have ever invested something or some of you out there are thinking about investing something or revealing some form of evidence, you need to provide that. Okay? You need to provide that because this is legitimate evidence. This is something that's not manipulated. This is legitimate evidence here with the Seven of Pentacles. Okay? Keep on investing into your business because you're doing the right thing. Or whoever this individual is that was doing something deceptive has been doing it for dishonest earnings with the nine of pentacles reverse. And that's the truth that's coming out about this individual. This was being done for dishonest earnings here. In order to step on an innocent person in order to get to the top, and it ain't gonna go down that way. It's not. If this is a public figure that has been continuously trying to, to put you in despair and to try to have you uh, go through all this right here, this individual could be getting pulled out the public eyes, what it looks like with a star called reverse because they're just doing something wrong. So something could have been going on in the public with the star called reverse, and this has put you in a lot of despair. But there's something that's coming out here that this individual is definitely jealous of your creativity of your inspiration. You're a very artistic type of person that's not toxic. You're not abusive. You don't have no communication with this individual. And yet they was trying to do something in the public eye to try to do something to the, the fame and destroy your character and your greatness. This could literally have this individual pulled out of that position. And it looks like to me that, that could be what's happening. I'm getting caged up energy here with the uh, hermit card. That looks like to me that's bars. This person literally, uh, literally had the nerve to have you looked in on for nothing but, but illusions. And this was a fast way to try to earn something out of that. This ain't going on go, going on too well. This ain't going over too well with this hermit energy right here. I'm going to tell you that right now. Look at that. E exactly. Ace of Swords reverse, and we have the Eight of Wands reverse. They could be discovering something about some form of accounts here that was being used. It could be a fire sign, an air sign that was in connection to this with the Ace of Swords reverse and the Eight of Wands reverse. I'm telling you, this is clarifying that Hermit card. Let me go ahead and clarify this real quick, okay? So clarify the Hermit card 
Why is the hermit card here for messages for the day? Cards for the day. You definitely have somebody that believes you over this liar here, I'm telling you. They could be helping you out with a situation and it's unexpected. Look at that. The Six of Wands. This individual may support you. Secretly, they may support you. <clears throat> King of Cups reverse. We have the Five of Cups. This, whoever this investigator is, is upset at, at what he's observing. He's upset because there's nothing on you. Didn't I tell y'all earlier something was manipulated? If he had something on you, it would be like this. This is racking up things, but there's nothing to be racked up on because this is nothing but manipulation with the Ten of Wands reverse. King of Wands reverse. Something involving a King of Wands reverse here. We have the Four of Cups. The Three of Wands reverse. The High Priestess, Pisces energy. Clairvoyant energy. The Emperor. The judgment reversed. Yeah, you was misjudged here. This thing come from you, and this is what this individual is uncovering here. And this is false judgment calls being made. Something to do with a device that's not coming from you with the judgment reversed. I'm telling you, yeah, justice reversed. This person's in trouble, bro. This person's in trouble with the law. Libra Scorpio energy. We have Pisces Aries energy. Two of Pentacles reversed. There's proof to prove this too. So you could be a divination reader with the high priestess with the page of pentacles. You proved this individual wrong here. You proved them wrong and it's reversing on to them. This individual is upset because of this individual trying to destroy your foundation with a lot of things that are very vicious that wasn't the truth about you. This is upsetting this hermit card here, bro. I'm telling you. And we have the strength card here, Leo energy. We also have the three of swords and we have the ace of cups here. But it's like a bittersweet moment that this individual is uncovering the fact that you're telling the truth about some form of injustice here. And you had your character defamed with the King of Cups reversed. You had your character defamed. This individual is trying to make you out to be an abuser. But yet that's not who you are because you wasn't behind the judgment in a reverse position. You wasn't behind that. It was somebody else that was behind it. And this is not coming back to you. So this hermit card knows that you're telling the truth. If you're a divination reader with the high priest page of pentacles, that's all about hand-on experience. Hands-on experience. You told the truth and you stood in your power with the emperor card about this false judgment call or whatever. Whatever they was trying to do to you. Clarify this queen of sword diverse for messages for today. This person will be removed out of your energy. I promise you. I promise you. It's a guarantee. Look at this. Six of Cups. You innocent here. Something about your hometown. This individual could have had connections with your hometown, etc. They was trying to hide that. Ain't hidden no more. Clarify this Queen of Swords reverse. Look at that. Three of Pentacles reverse. Page of Cups, we have the Two of Wands reverse. This is clarifying the Queen of Swords reverse. She's bitter because you're going to have a celebration. Her plans are restricted all the way. She's done. Ten of Swords, she's done. And, and it's also coming out about how she's been betraying this individual left and right, left and right. Five of Swords. She was doing this viciously to betray someone just because she wanted to. The Seven of Wands, and someone literally had to stand up for themselves with the Seven of Wands. Creating illusions with the Seven of Cups. The Four of Swords. We have the Herophant. The Most High ain't going to let you go down that way, bro. I'm telling you. With the Herophant card. We have the Nine of Wands. We also have the Six of Wands reverse. That's all the hatred. The fake accounts, etc. The defamation of character. Publicly slandering you. With misleading information to betray you on purpose. 
You ain't going to get hurt no more. This individual could be going to uh, some type of institution, a mental health institution with the hair font, the four swords and the five of swords. They could be going to like a psychiatric institution or something to do with something to do with their mental health. Because this is wrong here, bro. This individual shouldn't have been doing that to you. We have the will of fortune. We have the two of swords. Something to do with this individual's mental state is off. Five of cups. This is how this individual is being perceived here. They have nothing on you. For this individual to do something like this, they're psychotic with the five of swords. So this individual is being seen as to be psychotic. That's literally been analyzed from some type of behavioral analyst or whatever. This individual's behavior has been analyzed accurately here that they indeed have some type of mental disorder here with the five of swords. And this ain't nothing to laugh at, but this is something that's chaotic. This is psychopath energy with the five of swords, ten of swords, and to do this deliberately. And yet try to play victim all at the same time, but yet turn around and contradict everything of what they're saying. This is a psychopath. The hair font could represent uh that could represent organizations that could also represent uh health institutions, etc. But it's definitely a building that this individual is gonna go to because this individual right here, bro, ain't right with the seven of cups, and we have the five of swords. This individual ain't right in the head. Swords energy represent the mental energy, the mental mind frame of this individual, and this is exactly what is being seen here. Anybody that's a sane person wouldn't be doing this. I'm going to tell you that right now. Anybody that's a sane person would not be doing that. And you are someone that, that is definitely mentally capable of a lot of things. You have a lot of mental capacity. You have a lot of mental intellectual knowledge. And you being seen to be a grounded individual. Just like I said, you're not being seen to be a malicious person or a psychopath like this individual try to portray you out to be when whenever they're the ones that's been literally exhibiting psychopathic tendencies over some type of social media platform and attacking people relentlessly or attacking you relentlessly with falsified things about you, but yet turning around and contradicting everything of what they're doing because of what they have been doing behind the scenes and trying to attack you and bully you. This person ain't right in the head, bro. I'm telling you, this ain't something to laugh at either. I'm not saying that as a joke. Like, this ain't nothing to laugh at, bro. This is a serious issue. This is not something to make a joke out of. I could care less how many other people laugh. If you have a heart, you're not going to laugh or think this is funny. Because it's not. Okay? You may be glad that, that you're getting your justice over a situation or you're being believed over a situation. But at the same time, I'm going to tell you something right now, bro. This ain't something to laugh at. Yeah, they may be wrong, but... That shit ain't cool. Don't be laughing on my live stream because I will block your comment. I don't put up with that. This person literally has something wrong in their mental state here with the five of swords, ten of swords. We have the seven of cups. It's all about the mental state. And this has actually been verified and analyzed legitimately here that anybody that has this, this type of tendency to do this relentlessly here and to get enjoyment out of seeing other people suffer and literally laugh at them, this is a psychopathic type of mentality. This person has psychopathic tendencies that has been analyzed by a hermit card here. This is reckless mouth energy with the Knight of Wands versus just reckless. This is reckless energy. And we also have the Five of Swords, Ten of Swords, literally laughing at someone's pain here, getting enjoyment out of it. With the Look at the smirk on the face. Literally laughing and being very, very, very wicked with the five of swords, very wicked. And yet someone literally having to stand up for themselves with the seven of wands, you know. So they're being seen as the abuser, bully, narcissist, and psychopathic person that they truly are.
and they have no business being in this position or having this job to do this to you. That's what this individual is analyzing. Like I said, bro, they could be pulled out of this position with the eight of pentacles reverse. They ain't gonna have that no more because they're not mentally capable or like if they could potentially do this to, to people, bro, like this individual needs to just, that's how this hermit card is analyzing that. Like, this is way different than someone getting upset. Like, you know how if someone potentially tries to bother you and you get upset, you go off and you stand your ground? That's understandable. Some of you out there had to do that, but there's nothing wrong with your mental health. You are mentally sane, but your sanity is all the way there. But when it comes to this type of situation, there is too much evidence here with the Seven of Pentacles to prove what you have had to go through and what this individual has been lying about, but yet contradicting all at the same time. A lot of hypocrisy here, too. A lot of hypocritical energy here, too. There's hypocritical energy and contradiction energy. But yet when it comes to something that you're invested in, you actually know how to tell the truth and to not go back on it. That's what I'm getting, which is meaning that you don't go out there bothering innocent people or just to say things or do things to an innocent person just to do it to them. You're not that type of person. You're definitely not that type of person. And this has also been seen, too. So if you've so if you have ever gotten upset and had to stand up for yourself, it's completely understandable because of who is coming up against you here. The four of swords and the five of swords is definitely something to do with the psyche. Five of swords and the four of swords. But we also have the Herophon card there. And we have the six of wands reversed. This is all about somebody's psyche. That's just, it's out of control, bro. It's out of control. And this is literally manifested through the way that this individual talks, speaks. The way that they talk about things, message things. Make social media posts with the Six of Wands reverse, bro. This is nothing but hatred here with the Six of Wands reverse. And literally them just getting enjoyment out of that with the smile and the smirk on his face right here. This is what's clarifying this Queen of Swords reverse. So who's going to be believed? Who's the one that's the abuser? Not you. You literally had to stand up against an abuser here with the seven of wands. Someone literally trying to abuse your reputation, abuse you to a lot of individuals. They literally get a thrill out of that with the five of swords. And anybody that has the tendency to do this, bro, is literally what this hermit card is analyzing. It's a psychopath energy here with the five of swords. This is someone that will literally laugh at someone's pain and not feel one ounce of empathy or sympathy for them. That literally gets enjoyment out of torturing someone. That's exactly what this is. Gets enjoyment out of torturing someone. This is literally someone laughing at someone being in the Ten of Swords with the lies that he told about them. And keep on doing it. This is literally someone literally laughing at someone in the Ten of Swords energy. This is not funny, no. This person's being seen exactly for what they are. They're a psychopathic narcissist. That's exactly what someone has spotted here that has been lying on you. They're a psychopathic narcissist. A queen of swords reverse. That has been relentlessly upsetting you with the five of cups relentlessly upsetting you and hurting you, hurting your feelings, etc. Having you isolated with the Five of Cups. Having you isolated. Nobody wants to be around you. Don't worry because a will of fortune is turning in your favor. <coughs> Excuse me, y'all. 
I have allergies. But anyways, the will of fortune is definitely turning in your favor when it comes to the situation. This is all about abuse being released out of your life with the devil card reversed. So this is what you need to know for today. So if you was ever victimized from an abusive type of situation, this will be cleared up to where you can have a new beginning. You deserve this new beginning. You could have proved someone wrong in the situation, a few people wrong in the situation, and you're literally being seen to make good investments with revealing something and collecting things that are actually legitimate, that's not manipulated with the Seven of Pentacles. Keep on focusing on your job. You're okay. You're doing just fine at your job. Whatever you're doing, it's going to work in your favor. Whatever this individual is doing, with all of this right here, ain't going to get them nowhere. It's literally having them being seen as a psychopathic narcissist. That's not covert. They're overt about it. That's what is dangerous. They don't care to hide it. There's a little bit of mixture of overt and covert. When it comes to this type of situation. Bro, anybody with some common logical sense here with a situation that knows how to analyze bodily language and people's behavior will literally spot this. This is definitely a covert, overt narcissist. But it's literally reached the level of psychopathic with the five of swords with what was done. This is someone's mind right here, brother, the five of swords. This is what y'all need to know for today. And you're protected from that. You're protected from that. This, this, this individual literally is getting caught up for hypocrisy. Hypocrisy, however you say that. Contradictions after contradiction after contradiction. Lie on top of lie, on top of lie, on top of lie. And ain't nothing making sense about your character. But everything is making sense about theirs because of how relentless they were. This individual was at doing something repetitively and sitting there continuously, repetitively doing it over and over and over and over and over and over and over. And this is what's being seen. But anyways, y'all, that's what I have for the messages for today. This will not resonate with everybody. I don't have to be an air sign, but we have Capricorn. We have Aquarius. We have Virgo. We have Aries. Uh, what's on the bottom? We have Taurus energy. What's behind this? Cancer energy. Pisces energy. The moon card can represent Cancer and Pisces. So we have Cancer, Pisces, Aries. We have Aquarius. We have Virgo. We have Capricorn. Okay, you could be one of these signs that could have went through that. Don't have to be. And we also have Taurus energy with the hair font. But anyways, y'all, y'all take it easy out there. Much love to y'all. Thank y'all very much for the love and support once again. It's greatly appreciated, y'all. But this is what's being seen, bro. I'm telling you. This is what's being seen. You're not no abuser here. This is what's being observed. And it's slowly facing towards this Queen of Swords versus direction. This Knight of Pentacles here. Someone has a changed perspective here. Someone's looking at something and turning this situation around to slow this individual down and stop them. With the Knight of Pentacles here. That's exactly how this looks here. You have someone literally going over something that could be seeing you reveal something. You making an investment on something, this could be revealing your evidence here. And they're literally turning the situation around. They're looking at something and going right back to the source that it came from. Because you're not this person here. This is what's being analyzed, that you're not the toxic person. This individual is that's on this side of all this right here, this chaotic energy with the Knight of Wands reverse. And we also had the temperance card. You could be a Sagittarius too. You are a peaceful person here. With the temperance car. So that's what you need to know for today. You're protected by St. Michael the Archangel. And you're also protected by somebody that may be looking over something. 
Like if someone lied to the sandwich or try to get them to go against you, they could be uh, looking over something and literally making a different direction here. Like they turn a different direction. They have seen what you have exposed here with the seven of pentacles. They see what you talked about or the evidence that you revealed. And they're literally seeing that you're not a toxic person with the devil called reverse. You haven't abused this individual one bit. You haven't even been in contact with them for some of you out there. And why, why else would they try to do this to you? It's because of jealousy, envy, deceitfulness, deception, and just trying to, just trying to, what is that saying? Trying to make a fast buck off of this with the nine of pentacles reverse to make a fast buck off of this. And to try to wreck your reputation all in the process too. To have you attacked. While they are attacking you in the process too. Because they was lying to have you attacked and looked in on. So you're definitely being seen as not the problem. With the devil car reverse. You're not the problem at all. You ain't out there bothering this individual. So why else would he do that to you? When there's no contact here. Why else would he do that? Because just like I said before, bro, this hermit card is analyzing something. It's seeing something for what it is. I'll tell you right now, they could be seeing that this individual has psychopathic tendencies. And it's just they're dangerous. It's overt, covert narcissism. That's the characteristics of this sword reverse here. Could be queen of sword reverse, king of sword reverse. That's the characteristics of this individual right here. Covert and overt psychopathic narcissism. <clears throat> that will literally believe their own lies, create lies, believe their own lies, go back and contradict those lies, and yet confuse a lot of things. Like there's a lot of confusion with the seven of cups. See, I'm telling you. And anybody that has the tendency to do that, they use their intellectual levels for dangerous purposes. That's exactly what is being seen here. Because this individual could do so much more than that in a positive type of way. But yet the way it's being used is to harm and hurt an innocent person for no reason. So that right there would be using the intellectual power for ill purposes with the sword reverse. Because someone that is truly intelligent, that respects their intelligence, their power of intelligence, will literally be very rational, will be understanding, and wouldn't sit there and literally do this for no legitimate reason. Okay? But this is what I have for the read, y'all. This is what uh, I have for the messages for the day. Something is definitely turning around and they seeing that you're not the problem with the situation. You believe you have something to prove here with the Seven of Pentacles and there's something that's turning this individual direction that has been doing that to you, okay? But anyways, if y'all want to leave any donations, I will have a link in the description box below, Okay? So I would definitely have a link in the description box below in case you want to donate out of generosity. I do not do any personal reads. I'm unavailable, uh, unavailable for personal reads. I do not do any personal reads. So if y'all are wondering about that, I do not do them. I am only available on YouTube right here on this channel. And I do collective readings. That's all. Okay. But anyways, y'all, thank y'all very much once again for the love and support, the donations, the subscriptions, the likes, etc. And if I've ever helped somebody on a situation, then I'm glad to provide you with my gift of nature here to help you see the truth, which I don't really like reading about that. But I mean, if it comes through the cards and I can handle the intensity of it, then I can read it, you know, but I don't really like reading these negative energies. But anyways, y'all, this is a collective reading. No names and none that's being mentioned in order to protect the content, etc. Because this could be resonating with a few people, you know? A few people could have went through this. Could be different situations for every situation, but at the same time, there's a few people that has went through this. 
Could be three people with the three of cups. Could be seven people. Could be five people. Could be nine people. Could be three people. Could be seven to three to nine to five people that could have went through this situation. But anyways, y'all take it easy out there. Much love to y'all. Thank y'all very much once again. I greatly appreciate the constant support on the channel. I greatly appreciate my genuine subscribers, the comments, okay, the likes, the donations. It's greatly appreciated, y'all. Yeah, may y'all have a great blessed day out there, and I will see y'all some other time. Peace.